Hello, friends. Welcome to a new happy learning video. Today we're going to meet a very jumpy and entertaining amphibian. Let us introduce you to frogs. Frogs have been on the earth for over a hundred and forty million years, and there are so many of different shapes and colours. There are big ones, tiny ones, green ones, red ones, poisonous ones, and even some with horns. There are more than four thousand types. Frogs are amphibians. And belong to the Anaurus family because they do not have a tail. They have smooth, moist skin, and their limbs are usually very long, which is why they are excellent jumpers. They can jump up to thirty times their size. Like all amphibians, frogs are oviparous. They are born in the water. Their mothers lay thousands and thousands of small eggs in ponds. Look here, you can see them. As time goes by, these eggs are transformed into tadpoles that don't look anything like their parents, right? As you can see, they have a long tail which helps them to move nimbly through the water, and they breathe through the gills, just like fish. But little by little, the tadpoles undergo metamorphosis. That is to say, their bodies are constantly changing. They grow legs, they lose their tails, and they get much bigger. Here, you can see the phases of metamorphosis in reality. Isn't it amazing? When frogs get older, they breathe through their lungs, so they can emerge from the water. The friendly little animals that we all know. Remember, this almost magical change is called metamorphosis. By the way, frogs have a superpower, because besides from breathing through their lungs, they can also breathe through their skin. Frogs, when they are older, become carnivorous. They eat insects, small crustaceans, spiders, and small lizards. They are excellent hunters because they have an incredible vision. They can see forward, backwards, and sideways all at the same time. As soon as they detect their prey, they throw their long, sticky tongue and zap. They gobble it up. Frogs are cold-blooded animals, which means that their bodies have the same temperature as the water or air around them. They can adapt to any climate, which is why there are frogs in all parts of the world. There are frogs even in deserts. But despite being incredible survivors, frogs are in danger of extinction. Yes, climate change, pollution, droughts, and the constant destruction of their habitat means they are disappearing. That is why, at Happy Learning, we are asking you to take care of nature, read, watch videos, and learn as much as you possibly can, so that all animals can live in peace. And. If frogs have been on this planet for 140 million years, they can continue to jump from pond to pond for another 140 million more. Goodbye, friends. See you in the next video.